Hi everyone, it's actually Thursday today, which is very late to start a weekly vlog, but I basically didn't film um, the rest of this week because I was feeling so rough with this cold, um, which is, it seems so silly to say that you felt really poorly with a cold considering everything else that's going on at the moment. Um, but I have, I've just felt really rough um, and I've been super tired. So it just all hit me on Monday, I think, um, from feeling poorly uh, the week before and having quite a busy weekend. Um, I just felt so tired on Monday when I got home from work and then on Tuesday I felt even worse. Um, I came home and basically like fell asleep. And then yesterday was the first day that I had felt like a tiny bit more normal. Um, so my mum is home from hospital now. So I went to see her yesterday straight after work. I took some lunch around there for my family. They're all sick. My brother and my dad are both really sick with the cold that I had, but my dad has got it worse than the rest of us had it. Um, so my mum is like isolating in her room because she doesn't want to catch it. And obviously I got it first, so I'm like the least contagious now of all of them. So I literally went round to just like drop off some food and like briefly chat to her and everything because I don't want to give her this cold. Um, and I was so happy to see her. There were complications with her surgery, so that is rubbish. And, you know, she has a long way to go, but I'm so glad that she's home at least. Um, and then I went from there to my brother's fiance's house because she is doing a lot of their wedding stuff herself. And she's doing all of the invites herself and she asked me if I would go around and help her put some of them together because I did offer to help her before. Um, so I went round and we had a couple of hours putting together wedding invites so that was really fun. Um, but other than that I literally haven't done anything this week like I said I've just been feeling really rough. I do feel a lot better today in terms of the cold symptoms. I'm still really congested like you can hear it in my voice. Um, but today is the first day that I feel like, yeah, I'm probably getting better sort of thing. Um, and I don't feel as exhausted today yet. I can't, I won't stay sat down for long because I will start to feel exhausted. Um, the only other update is that I uh, got a phone call on Tuesday evening to say that an appointment had been made for me to come in and have an MRI on Friday. So tomorrow evening, um, which... I'm shocked by like I only asked for the MRI a week ago so they've either got lots of appointments at the moment which I doubt or they've managed to rush it through because it should have been done a long time ago um, which is great but I'm really torn over whether to cancel it or not because obviously I'm not very well I don't know whether it's a good idea to go anyway um like I say, I haven't done anything today. I have filmed a few little things that came in the post. Um, so yesterday I got the last two pairs of Disney ears. One of them I had ordered for our honeymoon, which now isn't happening or I have no idea when it's going to happen. Um, and the other pair are Halloween ears. Archie's just come to join me um, so that I could take some Halloween photos for my Instagram because um, I have a Disney Instagram. And also I didn't have any Halloween ears in my collection and I really wanted some for future Halloween trips because if I'm not um, heavily pregnant or dealing with like a newborn or something next year, I would really like to go to Disneyland Paris for Halloween. I was meant to go last Halloween and this Halloween and neither of those trips ended up happening. So I would really like to try and get there next year. Um, and the other pair were obviously aloha hawaiian themed because we were meant to be going to california and hawaii on our honeymoon but again who knows when that's actually going to happen and then today when i came home there was an emma bridgewater parcel waiting for me so i unboxed that on camera for you like i have been doing recently with my emma bridgewater parcels just think it's a bit of fun um, i'm drinking out of one of them right now it's my autumn mug but yeah i will um pop that unboxing footage in for you right now or over the top of when I've been talking or whatever um but yeah so that is my update for this week I always feel like you get to this part of the month and the days seem to really drag I don't know if anyone else feels like feels like that but once you get to sort of like the late teen days of the month like from the 15th onwards I feel like it really drags and it feels like it should be like 
the 23rd or something today and it's the 17th but we'll get there having said that though simultaneously it feels like the days are flying by like i can't believe it's already friday again tomorrow when i woke up for work on, on monday i just felt so rough and so exhausted and i remember thinking oh there is an entire week of this ahead of me and now it's already friday tomorrow so i also got my new driving license today in the post so i'm officially mrs prendergast now with the dvla um but yeah i don't know what i'm gonna do the rest of the afternoon i'm so tired um i haven't done any housework since the weekend so i really would like to do a load of washing and hoover and everything down here um and i also would like to film a process video for this week so i need to get myself together right so i managed to film edit and upload a project life process flip through um not flip through process video what is wrong with me i'm so tired um, so it's for the first part of March 2020 and it basically is documenting my hospital trip. Um, there's actually another insert that goes here. I've got it flipped over for privacy reasons, but these are basically the discharge notes from my hospital stay. And what I'm going to do is print um, a big page of journaling, like telling the whole in detail story of this whole <laughs> thing um, and I'm going to have that in there um, and that's something that I want to do more often I've done it in my 2018 album um, it wasn't in the flip through that I did of that album because I hadn't done it at that point but I've journaled about um, like my mum's cancer diagnosis and like some other stuff that happened um, so that I can have like in detail um, journaling in my albums like telling the whole story about something because that's something that I, I'm not very good at like doing lots and lots of journaling um but yeah anyway so that video is now up so i'll leave the link in the description so you can go and watch that if you haven't already my process videos are not doing very well on my channel which i knew would happen but it's still disappointing um because so many of you ask for crafty videos and then don't watch them um so please if you do like scrapbook videos project life process videos all that sort of thing when i upload them please do watch them and engage with them because it means that they get bumped up a little bit for more people to discover and it means I'm more likely to keep making them um, but for now I've got my gorilla tripod thingy so I am enjoying making them because they're a lot easier um, but yeah so that's March part one next uh, week you'll be seeing March part two which is the beginning of lockdown fantastic so my craft room is a complete mess again but I'm going to come back to that in a minute I want to go and do all of my like normal mundane housework that I normally do most days but haven't done this week because I've been poorly so I'm going to go do the washing the hoovering maybe clean the kitchen maybe clean the bathroom we'll see how I get on Hello everyone, welcome to the most unflattering angle ever. Um, I'm just laying on the couch, I got home from work a little while ago and I've had some lunch. I'm just laying here deciding what to do next. Um, yesterday I told you I was having an MRI today, but I called them this morning to ask for advice because I am so congested, I can't really breathe properly when I'm laying flat and I'm struggling to hold my breath. And as part of the MRI scan, you have to hold your breath for like 20 seconds every couple of minutes. And basically, if you can't do that effectively enough, the whole image gets distorted and you run the risk of having to do the whole thing again. And that's basically basically what the lady told me on the phone this morning. And she said, you know, it's your choice whether you want to come in and have it done. If not, we can cancel it and add you back onto the waiting list. So if it's not super urgent, um, we can put you on the list. And basically, in the last week or so, the symptoms that I had been having, which they are investigating, have like drastically improved. So... 
I've asked them to cancel it and put me back on the waiting list because I just don't think I'm going to be able to hold my breath and lay still and everything in a scanner for an hour. If you've had an MRI scan, it's not particularly in enjoyable, um, especially because the ones that I have, they always have to put in a cannula and stuff as well. And I just thought I'm so uncomfortable at the moment with being so congested that being inside the scanner is going to just make that worse. And I don't want to go through it all and then have to go and redo it anyway because I couldn't hold my breath for long enough or whatever. So... I'm not having an MRI scan now this evening. Um, I didn't get much housework done yesterday because when I started it all, Will then came home from work. And um, after being in lockdown together for so long, when he gets home from work, I've missed him during the day. So we ended up chatting and having dinner and stuff. So I only did the washing and cleaned the kitchen. So I need to hoover and mop the floors today, have a bit of a tidy up. I need to clean my craft room. Um, so I'm going to try and get some of that done, but oh my god, I'm so tired this week. I really hope I feel better next week, otherwise I just don't know how I'm going to get anything done. Okay, I've just done loads. Um, hoovered and mopped down here, hoovered and mopped the bathroom and the toilet upstairs. Um, well, I hoovered the whole of the upstairs as well, but I mopped the bathroom and the toilet, cleaned the bathroom, toilet has got bleach in it, ready to clean in a little bit, tidied the bedroom. I need to change the bedding, but I've run out of steam now. And I also need to tidy my craft room and tidy up in here a little bit in the living room, but I'll do that in a bit. I'm going to sit and enjoy a cuppa now because I'm tired, but I'm pleased I managed to get those bits done. Morning everyone, it is Saturday. I am still so full of cold. I cannot wait for this to go away. Um, I haven't even washed my face yet, so excuse that, but I've just thrown on some clothes and thrown my hair back up in the same bun that I've had for most of this week because we have somebody coming to measure up our kitchen today because we want to get our kitchen extension done. So I thought I would show you the bits that we were looking at in the catalogue. So we'll probably go with Howden's because um, my dad's going to be doing the work for us and he has a trade account with Howden's. Um, hello, of course. Um, so we'll probably go with them. Side note, how beautiful is this kitchen? That is lovely. Um, we have folded down a couple of pages. Where is it? This is the one that I really wanted. The Fairford in sage green. Look how beautiful that is. But Will pointed out that it's in now. It might not always be in. And if we stay here for another few years, we might regret doing it. Um, so I do agree with him. And also there were a couple of houses that we looked at when we were looking to move that had like just had a new bathroom or a new kitchen, but we didn't like it. And even though it was brand new, it put us off buying the house in general because we didn't want to rip out a brand new kitchen, but we didn't like it, if that makes sense. Um, so we won't be getting the sage green, but we are going to ask them to quote for the Fairford kitchen um, in... I quite like the grey, but we're going to go with antique white, which is somewhere. I like the pebble as well. I think that's a little bit different without being cream, but predictably we are going to go with cream because it matches everything. And even though we're having um, it technically extended because we are converting the garage, it's still not going to be a massive space. So we just feel like having the cabinets being this colour is probably the best idea. So we think, we know we want shaker style and we think that the Fairford is their cheapest shaker style. Um, the one that we really love is timber framed, which is extortionately expensive, but this one um, I think is what we had in our old house or very similar to what we had in our old house, just in a different color. So we think we're gonna go for the Fairford in antique white with different, actually, was it these handles? Because I'm looking at them now and I don't really like these handles. Um, 
but we're not going to have that worktop. We're going to have a worktop very similar to this. So in this picture, it is solid oak, which we are not going to have because we can't afford that. But um, they do an oak laminate that is obviously much cheaper, but looks virtually exactly the same. We saw it in the shop last weekend and it, it honestly does look like exactly the same. So I think we're going to go with that. And um, as you can see, that looks pretty nice. I quite like these handles, actually. I guess you can always change your mind on the handles um, later. But yeah, that's what we were looking at. And then we think for the walls, we might go with um, like a sagey green on the walls instead, because that's e easily changed later if you want to change it. Um, this was the Tewkesbury one, which is timber framed, which is very expensive. Um, oh, will you stop? Did you see how he ran a mile then because the book moved? Honestly, he's the wussiest dog I've ever come across. Um, let's see what else I can find. This is the handles page, so we're probably just going to go with a cup handle and a one bar handle. Um, there's some other options. And then these were the laminate worktops. So often they have like a wood effect to them, but they're not real wood. Um, and this was the one that we liked, the natural oak effect, because it's less orangey than some of these. It's just a little bit more neutral. So that's what we are going to ask them to quote for. And then you can also get like backboards, splashbacks or whatever they're called. We were also looking at sinks because we want a white sink this time but we want one with like two um bowls because that's what we've already got and it's definitely useful um, and then we were looking at taps there's so much to think about cookers so we were looking at which one we might want of these and then i'm going to ask them how much this fridge is because i love it retro fridge freezer it's probably so expensive um it's got a three-year guarantee, which Will says normally means it's really expensive. <laughs> but um, I'm going to ask them how much it is because I love that. Um, and yeah, we had fun looking through the catalogue last night, deciding what we were going to ask for. So I really hope we get a reasonable quote, but they're coming to measure up in a bit. They're here measuring. We've just gone out to have a little look in the garage. I'm eavesdropping. <laughs> So the kitchen that I had picked out picked out was actually the mid-range kitchen. So they're going to quote us for the slightly cheaper one, just so that we can see if we can keep costs down even lower. And um, he's going to give us the trade price. And they're also doing an offer at the moment. So it's looking like, depending on the price, we might be able to go ahead, which is really exciting. Okay, kitchen guy has been and gone and I have just printed out the journaling for this spread that I was showing you the other day. I wanted to only do one page and keep my hospital notes in here, but I ended up writing two pages and I felt like I just couldn't cut it down anymore. So what I've done is I've left that in there and I'm going to put uh, the date and maybe like a phrase sticker or something along the top. And then I have one of those big um, 12 by 12 envelopes at the back of this uh, album so I've popped the hospital notes in there for now and I'll just keep the journaling in here I added a border around the edge um, just to make it look a bit fancier but I'm happy with how that looks and I'm happy that I've got the whole story in here I might just add a tab on the side and like I say I'll add the date and stuff um, at the top but yeah cool that's another thing ticked off for that page so now I can move on to March part two and I keep meaning to tidy up my desk, but I just can't be bothered. And there's also a bunch of stuff stacked up there. But yeah, I'm feeling pretty gross. So I wanted to wash my hair and everything um, because I might be having coffee with a few of my friends in an hour or so, but I just can't be bothered to wash my hair right now. So I'm going to have a nice bath tonight and wash it then. Um, and I'm just going to go out like this because they don't care and I'll be in a mask anyway. So for the most part, um, so they don't care what I look like. Um, but I've put a bit of makeup on anyway. Um, I'm going to grab some lunch now so that I don't get too tempted to buy food while we're out. 
morning everyone happy sunday i'm in the hobby craft car park i've come to pick up some stuff for my mum because she wants to make a wreath but she can't go out yet to get stuff to make a wreath <laughs> so i said i would do it um i ended up having a really lovely day yesterday obviously we had the people round to measure up the kitchen and we're really hoping fingers crossed that we'll get a decent quote and we can go ahead with that um, and then I went out to see some of my friends. Um, I hadn't seen three, there were only five of us, so we didn't break any rules. Um, but I hadn't seen three of them since the wedding, so about six weeks. Um, and then one of them I hadn't seen for, it's been at least a year, probably closer to like 18 months, maybe even closer to two years. Um, and it was really nice to see her. So hopefully now that we've reached out and met up, um, we can see each other more often. Uh, but we basically just got ourselves a drink from Starbucks and then we went and sat out in the park. So we were out in the open um, and it was so nice to have a little taste of normality again. Um, since I went back to work, my life feels pretty normal, to be honest. Um, but it's nice to see friends and pretend that things are fairly normal for a little while. Um, obviously we stuck to restrictions, there were five of us, we sanitised our hands constantly, all that jazz. Um, but yeah, it was really nice to see them. And I bought a couple of bits in Primark, which I'll show you when I get to my mum's house. I've still got a cold, as you can hear. It's coming up to two weeks now since this cold first reared its head, which is really annoying, but that's immunosuppressants for you. But it's super warm in the car, so I'm gonna go and um, grab this stuff for my mum. Are you both being annoying? I'll show you the things that I was going to show you upstairs, but I got distracted um, that I bought yesterday. So I got this cute new bag, just Primark, £8. Um, because I am wearing a brown belt with a lot of my clothes at the moment with like jeans and dresses and stuff. And I didn't have a brown bag anymore. The rabbits actually chewed up my last one. So... Eight pound from Primark, and I'm loving that. And in, in Hobbycraft just now, the only thing I picked up for myself were these uh, stickers. But I wanted to show you my jeans, um, but I can't really get into my mum's room. She's got a fan and everything in the in front of the mirror. Um, but I've got these mum jeans, and I'm loving them. They're like the least flattering things ever, but so comfy, and I love them. I did take oh the kettle's boiled. I did take a picture, so I will pop the picture up so you can see them. Um, but yeah, I'm loving them. They are so comfy and again, not the most flattering of jeans, but I love them And I think they're gonna be great for autumn and I've got them on today and they are super comfy Much more so than the skinny jeans that I normally wear. Um, but I'm gonna have a cup of tea and some biscuits now Hi everyone, it's actually now Monday. Um, I wasn't actually gonna upload this footage and I was going to um, lump it together with this week's uh, footage that I'm filming now um because there wasn't a lot of it obviously i only started the vlog on thursday or wednesday I don't, I don't remember um but um i was gonna upload a tea time with chloe this afternoon instead um, and i asked on my community tab for suggestions and the suggestion that came up twice was uh, showing you my emma bridgewater collection and I'm happy to do that, but I feel like that's going to be a very niche video that not many people are going to be interested in. So instead of putting it in a tea time with Chloe, I am going to upload this week's weekly vlog and I'm just going to put some Emma Bridgewater footage at the end. So let's head to my dresser. So you guys will have seen my dresser in the background of a lot of my uh, sit down videos and in pictures on Instagram. This is the vast majority of my collection. I do have more mugs in the kitchen. And the bottom of the dresser is filled with like seasonal Emma Bridgewater. So I have a few um, Halloween bits, which are obviously out at the moment. And then the majority of it in there is Christmas stuff. I have a lot of Christmas stuff. Um, but yeah, so I was asked what my favorite pieces are. And in terms of being sentimental, obviously my Will You Marry Me teapot that Will got me and my just married teapot. Um, are probably some of my favourites but I just love all of my personalised stuff so some of it is out in the kitchen but um, Emma Bridgewater allows you to personalise some of their prints and almost every single personalised piece that I have is special to me so for example the first little boy that I ever worked with as a TA was obsessed with dinosaurs and he used to call me friendo so I got a dinosaur mug with Frendo on it because it reminds me of him. Um, I've got some Harry Potter themed stuff that's mainly up there. 
you can see my Harry Potter themed bits. Um, but I've got a new home mug there for my mum. I've got ones that represent us. So I sometimes get asked what these nicknames are. So I am Uggy and Will is Wawa. Um, our niece, one of our nieces, called us Uggy and Wawa for like two years. And the name's just stuck. No one else calls us that anymore, but we still call each other that. So we have a mug each with that on. And then we have one for Archie and one for Winnie. I've got my dog mama mug. This is one of my favourites as well. Positivity, that was a birthday present. Um, and that's the thing, I get some sort of judgmental comments sometimes about my collection, about how big it is and, you know, how long did it take you to get all that? And gosh, that must be so expensive sort of thing. But actually I'm very lucky and many, many of my pieces were gifted to me from family and friends. Um, but yeah, so that's like a few of my favourite pieces and a little overview of a lot of my collection. Um, I was also asked what my most expensive pieces are. So in terms of expense, the large personalised teapots are probably the most expensive things to buy new um, because the teapot itself is like £60 or £50 and then each letter is um, a pound each. So they are pretty expensive. You can buy items that are much more expensive than those but I don't tend to to buy the really expensive items and both of my personalised teapots were presents so Will bought that for me that was how he proposed and then um, my mum bought me one I think for Christmas one year that says the holidays are coming um, like the Coca-Cola advert song um, which is like one of my favourite things ever um, what else Probably, um, yeah, those are the most expensive things to like buy new. But in terms of things that are worth more money now, um, anything Rosen B is worth quite a bit of money now because it's discontinued. And I have a lot of Rosen B because it was still in production when I started collecting. So I've got a teapot there, a baker, but my hen is probably the most expensive item that you could buy now second hand because it's discontinued and it's very very popular um trying to think if there's anything else I don't know probably not but um I do have a few Rosenby bits which like I say are probably the ones that are worth most now um I'm not sure how much they would be worth probably not that much but um they would be like the most expensive bits of my collection to sell because it's discontinued. Um, I've also got a few of the uh, anemones that Liberty did last year. I've got a plate there as well um, and a mug. And I think those are probably slightly pricier to buy secondhand now because again, that was a limited run. Um, yeah, I don't know. I was also asked what my least favorite piece is. I don't have a least favorite piece really because I don't keep stuff if I don't like it. Um, or I wouldn't buy stuff if I wouldn't like it, rather. Um, so I don't have a least favourite piece. But my least favourite pattern um, is probably Black Toast. Um, which is why, as you can see, I don't have any. Um, I like all of the pink floral prints the best. But my dresser is very much like just a mix of everything. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little... Um, look at my dresser if you have any questions let me know um but i hope this has answered a few of those questions i am going to crack on with filming next week's vlog now and getting some housework done so um yeah hope you've all had a great week hope you have a great week ahead and i will see you next time bye guys